recording. And let's take a look at this first of all. So I've, I've switched to this other view. And these, these are the instructions. Okay, these came in their kit. You guys all have these. We are not going to follow these instructions exactly because we have a lot of uh, different ways. Like we have the 3D printed jigs that are going to actually make this a lot easier, in my opinion. Okay, so we are not going to be following these instructions, but I do want to show you what part we're doing. So in the instructions, they assume you've already put on your fins. We can't put on our fins yet because I forgot to put in the sandpaper, and you have to sand those pin, uh, sand those fins down before <laughs> you attach them to the rocket. So watch here. I'm going to zoom in on this part right over here. This is essentially what we're doing. We're going to put glue on a stick, okay? And we are going to put glue inside of this tube, but it's got to be ways down there. The way that we're going to do that is by putting glue on the end of the stick. And we're going to put it, and you can see in the instructions, it's right over here. And it has to go two inches in there, and then you put a ring of glue on the inside of the tube. So I'm using a stick that I, you know, that I was using for a barbecue. But basically, that's what we're going to do first. We're going to put that on there. But first, before we do that, we're going to put a measurement on here because we have to shove, use this this yellow tube to shove it in there. And we're going to glue that in place. Now, let me show you why we have to do this. Okay. Well, let's take a look. Here. Check it out. Whoever is on there, can you please mute your microphone? Thanks. Because I'm getting some feedback from somebody's microphone. So look, here's a, an example of a rocket that's essentially finished. If you look here. Okay, this is the Viking. It's finished. I have the launch lug. You can see there's been sanding. I've primered and sanded this. And what we do is, this is what an engine looks like. This is what the rocket engines are like. You can see two views of it. One of them's a little blurry, but, you know, it's the old school district camera from 12 or 15 years ago. So look right here is the nozzle. This is where all the hot gases come out that boost our rocket into the air very, very, very fast. Right? This rocket's going to go very fast, like 90, 100. I, we'll have to look it up. We'll, next week, I'll, we'll do that maybe. And we put the rocket engine in here. We put tape around it so it fits tight. But we put it in here. Now, what, what would happen if it would just, if we didn't put anything in there, the rocket engine would just slide down the tube and it would come out the other end. So we're going to block it so that it can't go all the way through the tube. Guess what we call this part that blocks the rocket engine? It's called an engine block. And it's this little guy right here. It's a little cardboard ring that's in your kit. Okay, so I've got what I need out of this little baggie. And let's kind of move some junk out of the way. Let's go back to our instructions real quick and take a look. We are going to get ready so that we... Now look, we want to get everything ready so that when we have glue waiting to dry, we're not in a rush and we're not scrambling. Let's go do it and prepare this part where we put a mark that's a quarter inch or six millimeters approximately up on the yellow tube. Okay, so let's look back here. Okay, here's our yellow tube right here. And I'm going to, you guys should use a pencil. I'm going to use a marker so it's big enough that you can see it. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to see the pencil very well on here. And I feel like using millimeters. It says it's either a quarter inch or six millimeters. I don't have a ruler. So we're going to just mark this right here. And I'm going to carefully mark right on the zero line. So it's on six here at the end and zero here. And I'm just going to put a mark right there. And it should be just a little bit. You can see it's not very much. But that's I don't have the ruler. Yeah, I heard you. I'm recording right now. We'll talk about that later, okay? The school, the school kits that they're going to be giving out on Wednesday have a ruler in there. If not, you're going to have to find one because the rulers are on your supply list. But they're going to be giving all that stuff out probably in the school kit, as far as I know. If not, you can buy a ruler at the dollar store for a dollar. Okay. Now, um, you can also, if you have a printer, you can print one out if you do it right. Okay, so now we have a mark on here. You can see it's just a, just a little line, just a little mark. That's going to be telling me when I put this in here later. Now, I'm going to just practice right now. But when I put it in here, and let's pretend I put the glue in the tube like we're going to do. Guess what? Watch what's going to happen. I'm going to push that in there, 
And that little line, that little mark, that tells me where to stop. And then I stop, I pull this out, and I let that glue dry inside of there. <clears throat> now, of course, we don't have any glue in there yet, so I'm going to redo it for reals now. Okay, so I got that out. Now, let's look back at our instructions real quick. Look at this. See right here? They tell us we have to put the glue two uh, inches or five centimeters into the tube. So all we're going to do is I'm going to measure whatever I'm using for a stick. You could just cut a piece of thin cardboard. It doesn't matter. Anything that's long and skinny that can fit inside the tube, and then you can smear around the glue. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure it right here, and it says five centimeters. Okay, I like metric. If you want to measure with two inches, that's fine that's also. Fine. But you can see right here. Oh, you can't see. Let me switch my camera. There we go. And I have lined it up. And we are about five centimeters back. Now you could do it along this way also, right? That's another way. That's a lot of people. So zero goes on the end. See, the metal part is not the zero. On this ruler, the zero is right there. And I'm going to mark, mark? right here at five centimeters. 50 millimeters is the same as five centimeters, isn't it? And I don't even need to use a marker. That's actually dark enough, okay? Now what this is gonna tell me is how far to stop. When, not, when do I stop when I'm putting glue in the tube to get it in about the right place? We don't wanna put, hey now look, this is really important. We don't wanna smear glue all the way around on the way in. So when you put it in, we're gonna keep the glue so it doesn't hit the sides of the tube until we go to where we want it. Okay, watch carefully. So now, this is where you need to get a piece of paper or a paper towel. I have a napkin. Mr. Woodchick went to, uh, I got some fast food from, I think it was from Taco Bell, Taco Bell napkins here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take some glue. We got our glue all, the white glue. Don't use the, don't use the, uh, the uh, super glue. And I'm just going to start coating the end of this with glue. Got quite a big glue, all, uh, lump of glue all around there. Now watch. I'm going to keep it in the middle. You got to have some skills. You might rest the end of the tube. Oh, and you got to keep spinning it. Otherwise, the glue is going to come off. Put it in there until I get to the end. See how the end of that is even with the end of the tube, that mark I made? Now I can hit the side and I can start smearing that around. So I... See how I keep that mark right on the edge of the tube? I hope you guys can see that well enough. Is it coming through pretty well? And you know what? I don't think that's enough glue yet. So I'm going to do that again a couple times. Probably maybe just twice, maybe three times at the most. Okay, I got another chunk of glue. Again, I'm going to be real careful. Crazy skills. Look at the skills here. Got to have some skills. Then I push it up against the side. When it goes in, I don't want it to smear on the sides until I get to the part where I want the glue. And, you know, you can see I'm kind of moving it back and forth, and I'm not exact, but it's pretty much there. And look, when I take it out, most of the glue's gone off there, so I did my job, right? That's what I wanted to do. Okay, um, that, uh, I think two is probably enough. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this piece, which is the engine block, which blocks the engine from thrusting through and basically destroying the whole rocket, <laughs> okay? And this is what the engine pushes against to transfer the energy into your rocket to boost it up. And now, look, this part, this is at the end, not the part that goes in. This has got to say, the, the mark we made on this little spacer tube, we have to be able to see that at the end, and we just gently push it, going slow to keep it nice and even. I'm starting to feel a little bit of resistance, maybe a little bit of glue. I can kind of feel it. And I'm going to stop when I get, keep going, and stop right, at the, right there at the mark. Now, in order to get it a clean break, because we need to take this out, your engine won't fit in here if you don't take this out. We're going to spin it while we pull it out. There we go. Spin it while we pull it out. And look, you can see, I don't feel very much glue on the side of this. I did a pretty good job of not getting a bunch of glue in there. And we can look inside of here. I don't even know. Let's see, can you guys see that well? Try to get that pointed at the camera. There it is. Check it out. So now you can see the engine blocks in there. Do we want to push up against to see if it's dry? It's not. <laughs> don't push up against it yet, okay? 
just leave it be and it should be good to go. All right, cool. So there's first part. I know that's not a whole lot, guys, but I wanted to get you started on something that we can do without the sandpaper. We, so there it is. All right, so I'm going to stop recording at this point.